Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about a decision reached by the United States Supreme Court earlier this week. We are going to talk about how that decision might impact former President Trump a little bit down the road. We are going to talk about the person who filed the appeal that the Supreme Court looked at. And then we're going to talk about some late-breaking news involving that person, um, which is why I'm re recording this video a second time. Okay, so earlier this week, the Supreme Court rejected an appeal from Derek Chauvin. Derek Chauvin is, of course, the former law enforcement officer in the George Floyd case. The appeal basically said that prior to his trial, there was a lot of unfavorable publicity that made it to where he couldn't get a fair trial. The Supreme Court chose to not hear it and let the lower court uh, ruling stand, which means that argument doesn't go anywhere. This is something that we might see Trump um, try to use if he is convicted. Given the amount of support that Chauvin enjoys from that side of the political spectrum, this decision might be a little bit of foreshadowing um, in that the Supreme Court is not going to say that uh, the publicity, much of which was generated by Trump himself, was an undue factor in any potential trial. Now, in some late breaking news that would seem really weird for this video to go out now without it, um, in Tucson, at the federal prison in Tucson around lunchtime, the reporting suggests that Chauvin was stabbed. Um, now, the Bureau of Prisons is not confirming that that's who it was. The Associated Press seemed pretty certain that that's who it was. Uh, the BOP does confirm that an incident took place, that they provided, quote, life-saving measures, and then the person was transferred to an outside hospital. Generally speaking, that means it's, it's probably pretty bad. Um, so that news, that happened today. Um, so it would be really weird for this video to go out mentioning him and not mentioning that development, which I would imagine is going to be all over the news soon, if it's not already by the time this goes out. Um, it has not been a good week for Chauvin. Um, and the, the appeal being rejected the way it was, that does demonstrate that this Supreme Court is, is unlikely to view that as a reason for even a retrial, much less setting aside a conviction, if it was to happen to somebody else that was high profile later. Um, it is worth noting that Chauvin does have other appeals pending on the various charges and cases. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.